armed serious negotiations? No, I don't believe so. Uh, the details have not been spelled out, and uh, the proposal is still there. been put before the negotiators in Geneva, and that's where. Well, now, what's he, what's he, he doing, Mr. There President? He's trying to, SS... trying to put you on the defensive, isn't he? He said there will be a cap on SS-20s, uh, right. Mr. President. Uh, he said that there will be a cap on SS-20s back to the June 84 levels, that they will dismantle the launchers in Europe, and that he wants separate negotiations with the British and French. Isn't that uh, quite a big change in their position? Yes, everything they're saying is a change in their position. Well, uh, what is well, it? With regard to the British and the French, that is up to the Soviet Union, the British, and the French. The, certainly, the United States cannot negotiate with the Soviets about what they're going to do about, or with regard to the nuclear missiles of other countries. Uh, with regard to the remarks he made about the, uh, the intermediate range missiles in Europe, this was the, uh, when, when we acceded to the European request and provided missiles for them to have intermediate missiles in defense against these missiles aimed at them, uh, this is what caused the Soviets more than a year ago to walk out for more than a year uh, from the negotiations because we had put those missiles in Europe. Now they're back negotiating and they now, I understand, have made a suggestion about reducing the number of their weapons. Uh, this too will have to be negotiated. Well, now, why, why do you think they're doing that, sir? Are they trying to put you on the defensive with the Europeans? Oh, I don't know whether they're trying to do that or not. Uh, it'd be nice to hope that they've maybe gotten religion. Well, how do you look at this? How do you look at the, at the well, Gorbachev uh, appearance in I say, I'm not France. going to discuss the terms they're proposing because that's going to be dealt with by our negotiators in Geneva. No, but what do you think of but him in France? This latest, latest statement about the SS-20s, which are their Malta warhead missiles that are aimed at European targets and in response to which we had put the Pershings and the cruise missiles in Europe. As I understand it, the only proposal they've made is one that would not be destroying any of their weapons. It would simply be moving them. Well, that missile, the SS-20, is a mobile missile. It is transported. It can move from place to place to simply drive them up into the Ural Mountains or someplace else and then say that they're not a threat to Europe makes no sense. Well, he did they say dismantle back any time they want to turn the on the He gas. did say dismantle the launchers for the first time, Mr. President. Well, is doesn't that change the nature of the movement between European and Asian SS20s? It truly really mean that, but then again, we'll leave that to our negotiators in in Geneva. Is that Gorbachev that says sir that if you, you, if you don't give up the Gorbachev says if you don't give up SDI, there'll be hard times in the world. Well, he could probably feel that way because the Soviet Union is about 10 years ahead of us in developing a defensive system themselves, and they're very upset at the idea that they might not be the only ones that have a defense against nuclear weapons as well as having the offensive nuclear weapons. Now, we're working so that we too can have a defensive shield that kills weapons, not people. And uh, I'm sure that uh, that is upsetting to them. But we're not going to retreat from the research that could deliver to the world a defense against these nuclear weapons and finally bring us to the realization that we should eliminate the nuclear weapons. And the entirely. testing, sir, and the testing? testing? That goes along with research. What about, the, what about the fact that these separate negotiations might question. undercut the U.S.-Soviet <laughs> negotiations in Geneva? If they go off on their own and deal with the British and the French, doesn't that drive a wedge between us and our allies? No, I don't believe so at all. It, it, it certainly would drive a wedge if we uh, arrogantly decided that we would negotiate on behalf of other countries and without their consent. No, this is between them and the Soviet Union. There's more power to them. Thank you. I've got to go on. Anything more on the Israeli raid in Tunisia? Do you still uh, think it's understandable? The, the, PLO, the, the PLO said that they will reach out. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States.
dwells in your presence and will remember this day as one of the most memorable of presidential visits. have visited us as chiefs of state regard him as a personal friend because they feel they know him and understand him. If we were to confer knighthood or some title of nobility, however, the spirit of America which flows in the blood of Ronald Reagan would not permit such adulation nor feasance. And it is precisely that spirit which enhances because of his character, trusted because of his spirit. We are fortunate to have a leader who embodies gifts that are years. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. together, Jim Rhodes. And, uh, he said, every man should take unto himself a wife, because sooner or later, something is bound to happen that you can't blame on the governor. <laughs> well, the last time I visited here, it was August 1984. And when we do that, your tax rates are going to come down, not go up. Well, my friends, today I've come back to Cincinnati to help make good on that promise. <laughs> 1920s, for example, Presidents Harding and Coolidge instituted a series of tax cuts that reduced the top rate on individuals from 73% to just 25%. Today, we remember off on this recovery. I understand that here in Cincinnati in 1984, coined the term Cincinnomics. I knew that the program was succeeding when they stopped calling it. Today, the American expense is just 35%. Incorporated small businesses will receive graduated rates of 15, 18, 25, and 33 percent, a measure especially helpful to businesses just getting started. As you know, small businesses create most of our new jobs. From late 1982 to late amplified as countless provisions for special treatment are reduced or eliminated. Take a moment to compare this simplified low tax rate future to the present arrangement. someday we can get down to a balanced budget. We have been discussing a plan over a period of years to start deduct to start a plan of spending cut.